Hi, this is Darren Lyle. Well, let's continue on and uh, do some more weight painting here, or point weighting, as we said before. Um, I'm going to go ahead and work on the neck here. I think I'm going to use point weighting for it because it's a hard um, part of the geometry to, to get to. So I'm going to switch over to edit mode here, and I'm going to select, say, this edge loop. And I already have the neck vertex group selected, so I'm just going to, with 100 or full weight, I'm just going to click Assign. Now if I hit Tab and go back to white paint mode, you can see that that's applied the weights there. So I'm just hitting Tab to go back and forth between white paint and vertex mode. For this edge loop right up here, let's take a look at that. I'm going to Alt right click to select that edge loop. And for this, I think for the neck, I probably just want half or point five weight. And then if I click assign, that will assign that to those vertices. Now I'm going to hit tab and you can see now that the red is 100% and the green is 50%. Uh, Let's do the same thing for this edge loop right down here. And I'll hit assign at 50%. And now we've got a pretty good weight for that bone. If I hit R twice and move it around, you can see it moves the neck, but doesn't deform the collar too badly. That's pretty good. And if we take a look at the head up here, that looks pretty good as well. If we look at this arm here, let me talk about white painting and mirroring. Um, I have over here under options, I have X mirror turned on, which means that if I come over here and with, I'm going to use full strength here, and if I paint here, and I'll paint that. Okay, so now I have that bone or those vertices assigned um, to be influenced by that bone there. But if I go over here and select this other upper arm, notice I've got that um, highlighted there as well. Now it didn't get some of the vertices down here, so it doesn't always work perfectly. And you might think, well, that's great though. I can just paint over here and it'll come up over there. It is, but the problem is, for complex meshes like this, where we've got a lot of things happening, a lot of vertices happening underneath each other here, white painting doesn't always work out well. So point weighting is really better. You have more control, but you lose the ability to have mirroring turned on. Now you can mirror one vertex group over to the other side, but one, it's a pain, um, and two, you'd have to do it individually for each bone. So it's kind of a trade-off here. What I'm going to be doing usually is using a point weighting in vertex mode, just because it's easier for me. Um, but I just wanted to show you that there is that um, possibility if your character doesn't have quite as much going on um, with clothes and things, um, the weight painting tool may be the better option for you. But uh, let's keep going with uh, point weighting here. I'm going to select this shoulder bone and I'm going to go straight to vertex mode and I'm going to go to wireframe and I'm going to hit the one key for the uh, front view. And what I want to do is I want to select um, this area here um, to be influenced by, um, by this bone here. Initially what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over the head, press the L key, and then um, I want to hide this, but I don't want to hide all of it. So I'm going to press the C key now, 
and press the middle mouse button and I'm going to deselect everything I don't want to hide here. So I'm going to deselect these and then I'm going to press H and that will hide the head. Um, I've got some other things going on up here too. I'm going to press L, L, L and press H to hide and you can just control drag some of these to hide these away. So I just wanted to hide these away so I don't accidentally include them in here. Okay, so now I'm going to deal with this shoulder here and I'm going to press control and drag and I'm going to select this group of vertices here and now I'm going to come over here and press and I'm going to use a hundred percent weight and I'm going to press assign. So that assigns those points to that bone. All right. Now I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to select the shoulder right, which is this. This is why labeling bones is so important when you're creating the rig. Uh, and I'm going to control drag this area here. And I will assign those with 100% weight. And I'll hit the tab key again, select that bone, and you can see that I've got those two weighted now. So now let's press Alt H to bring everything back, to unhide everything. And now I'm going to come over here and work on this arm here. So for parts of the character like this, what I will usually do is edges in the middle of a bone, say these edges here, these I'll assign 100%. Uh, let me find the upper arm here. So these I'll assign 100% or 1.0 for the weighting. Edges that are on the joint, I will usually assign something like 50% split between each of the bones. So for this joint here, it's kind of um, partly going to be influenced by the upper arm and partly going to be influenced by the shoulder bone. So for this, I could say this one needs to be 0.5, this ring, and assign that. But I could also say that for the shoulder, which is right here, I want that to be 0.5 or 50% as well. So I'll hit assign there as well. So now if we go back and I select this bone, you can see I've got green or 50% coming from the upper arm and I've got green or 50% coming from the shoulder as well. Now I'm not exactly positive that that's going to work well, but that's a good way to begin the, begin the process, I think. So it looks like I've already got 100% um, here. So, I'll, But I'll go ahead and assign that. I'm going to select this loop and assign 100%. Um, this mess of vertices here, that's a good question. And these are all just kind of default... Um, measures I've learned over time. This is just what I do to get the weights done and then I'll begin bending the joints and testing the deformations to see how it works and adjust from there. Okay, so for this mess I'm gonna call this um, 0.75 and for the rest I'm gonna hide the arm, select the arm with L, hit H, and then select this area and I'll call this 0.5 and I'll assign that. Now I think I also know that this is going to need to be 0.5 for the lower arm as well so while I'm here I'll go ahead and assign it for 0.5. Okay so I'm going to press Alt H to bring everything back hit tab to go back to weight paint mode and you can see I forgot to hit assign there. So I'm going to go back and that was 0.75, right? And I'll hit assign. So now if I go back to um, 
weight paint mode, you can see that this area is pretty good. I've got the center part of the bone influenced at 100% and then the edges of the bone influenced at 0.75 and 0.5. So let's go do that for the other side here now. I'm going to select this bone, hit the tab key to go to vertex mode, and for the upper arm on the right, I'll select this edge and this edge and assign at 100%. I'll select this edge, and what did I do? 0.5 over there, and assign, and I might as well catch the shoulder bone while I'm here, and assign that. And then let's also grab these. Let me deselect those. Those were 0.75, is that right? Assign. And I'll get rid of the arm here for a moment, hide it away, and select these. And these were 0.5 that I'm going to assign to both the upper arm and the lower arm. So I'm going to press Alt-H to bring everything back, go back to weight paint mode, and lo and behold, I've got the arm, the, the upper arm, Pretty much done as well as the shoulder there so that's my process and you may think good god that's tedious well <laughs> it's weight painting what did you think it'd be no it is um, it is pretty tedious uh, but I'm afraid I'm one of those people who kind of enjoy it um, I like the process of getting very uh, detailed about this kind of thing. Uh, so let's get the forearm done. Let's do this. So this is the lower arm right. So I'll go back to vertex mode. And I'm going to go ahead and select that shirt with the L key and hit H to hide it. And for this, I will select these um, edges and assign this at 100%. And then I'll select this edge, and I'll catch this at 0.5%. And while I'm here, I'll go ahead and catch the hand at 0.5 as well. Now let's make sure I've done this. Have I done this yet? Now how can I tell? If I wanted to know, have I done this part yet, how could I tell? Because if I hit the uh, tab key and go in there, it's hidden underneath the shirt. So how would one tell if one has assigned weight to that point or not? If you hit the N key and go to the Properties panel, you get um, if a vertex has had weight assigned to it, you get this little Vertex Weights panel. And you can see if I select a, um, a, a point here, you can see what bone is being what bone is influencing it so say this right here between the hand and the forearm you have 0.5 for the lower arm and you have 0.5 for the hand well over here i can see that i've got um, 0.7 for the upper arm but i i don't have any weights yet for um the lower arm. Let me show you a trick here that you can use if you if you need it um, to be able to select a point and then copy the weights to um, other points. So let's say I've got this point here and I want it to have 0.7 for the upper arm and 0.3 weights for the lower arm. So I've got the lower arm selected here. I'm going to come in here and type in 0.3 and I'll hit assign. Great. I've got the upper arm at 70 percent and the lower arm being influenced 30 percent. Now I need to copy that to all of this ring of vertices here. So what I can do is I can select this ring of vertices, 
deselect that one point and then reselect it. And what that does is it makes that point the active point and all the others are the selected points. So what I can do is come over here to this copy. So it says copy the active vertex to the other selected vertices, right? So if I hit copy, it will copy everything to all of those other selected points. I think that's kind of cool. Okay, well let's see where we are now. Uh, I'm going to unhide with Alt-H and I'm going to hit the Tab key and there is so far the weights we have. Let me go back and do the forearm here. I'm going to hit the Tab key to go to vertex mode. I'm going to select the sh shirt and hit H and now I'm going to select these points and I'm going to assign at 100%. Then I'm going to select these points. I've got these at 0.75. For the upper arm, I need to assign 0.25 to these. And let's also grab this edge and let's assign 0.5 for the lower arm as well as 0.5 for the hand. Alt H to bring everything back and there is our weights for the upper arm. Okay well in the next video we'll keep going on weighting the character so I hope to see you then. Thanks for watching.